ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are having a fantastic day. Notification squad, you are looking bigger than ever. If you're not part of the notification squad yet, make sure to smash that subscribe button and click the little notification bell to the right of that to stay up to date. I love you guys. Seriously, nothing is cooler than working hard on a video, dropping it, and then instantly the whole notification squad commenting positive stuff. We're taking this bad girl to a car show today. Gotta move Ariana first though. Oh, good morning to you too, Ariana. Oh, I love that view. Early morning Saturday, cold start. Sorry, neighbors. Ah. Loving the comments so far on the new app, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't heard, Vehicle Virgins has a new app. Link in the description below for that. I wanna see what everyone's dream cars are. So post a picture of your dream car on the app. I'll check it out. Just showed up, met up with James. What's up, dude? We were supposed to have a bunch more friends here, but they literally all fell asleep and didn't want to wake up on a Saturday. That is the one thing about Southern California car culture. Everyone wakes up super early on the weekends to go to shows. I'm still trying to start a revolution. Let's do cars and coffees at like noon. We can call it cars and, I don't know, cars and beer. No, that's illegal. Terrible idea. Say cheese, bro. Heading over to meet up with Taylor. He's bringing out his performante. Just rolled up to Taylor's and Alex is here. That M2 looks so clean. I love the HRE wheels on it. And it's lowered too. So there is the gorgeous matte black performante. And there's Alex. But the latest addition to the collection is this gorgeous 720S. Let's take a look at this thing. I am such a big fan of the 720S, guys. What a color. Love the carbon fiber and the headlamps. Literally knocked it out of the park with this interior. Look how wild this is. Carbon fiber everywhere, the orange accents. That was one downside of McLaren's in the past. The interiors were kind of boring, but this, yeah, I'd say they changed that. Taylor just surprised Alex with a Huracan drive. You've never driven a supercar. No, this and the, is my first one. And the first one is a flippin' Pervermonte. I think I can get used to this. I'd say so. The M2 is cool, but dude, I don't know. <laughs> this went from a Corvette Huracan M2 meetup real quick to a freaking Huracan Pervermonte in the 720S. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> this is awesome. Hey, <laughs> nice horn. Not great, now I'm stuck with this. <laughs> Just kidding, I love that thing. Damn, this is a squad right here. Oh my god, it's an Aperta. What's up, dude? Well, didn't get much in the way of footage of the event because I wanted to spend time talking to you awesome subscribers. Just had a meeting with O'Gara coach Westlake and it looks like we've got some awesome reviews coming up soon, ladies and gentlemen. This is a sexy Turbo S. Now in their showroom, they actually have the least expensive GT3 RS in the entire country with a beautiful exhaust on it in ultraviolet. Look at this thing. I love the GT3 RS so much. Oh my god, it's Corsa Avenue! Yeah! I'm always in Corsa! That is my new favorite street. That's awesome, Corsa Avenue! While I was having my meeting, the boys met up at a location and are doing a photo shoot right now. Curious to see how that's going. Oh. Oh. Ooh, there they are. Well, I guess today's photo shoot is in a parking lot, but the backdrop actually looks pretty good. Now, when you're a master photographer like James, you can edit out all the fence. I don't know what type of tomfoolery he's gonna pull, but <laughs> these cars look epic together. Sick green Prius, bro. Thanks, man. Thank you. <laughs> it's Elise. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of comments recently about how I've rented this. If you think about it, I, it's probably been in 300 videos, right? You rent a Huracan, it costs 1,500 bucks a day. You think I paid $450,000 to rent the car? You crazy. Yeah, I know. People were saying that because it doesn't have license plates on it, like clearly it's rented because- You just you supercharge yeah. the rental, right? Oh, a supercharge the rental. Good idea. Dude, this thing is so sick. If you had to choose this or the Performante, 
promise you, Stefano Domenicale, CEO of Lamborghini, I promise I picked this one. <laughs> Please send me money. <laughs> Okay, but off camera, yeah, we know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Pirelli. <laughs> oh, hey, you're good, you're good. Michelin, you guys are the best, absolutely. <laughs> but actually, no, no. These tires, uh, who needs your Pirelli crap? <laughs> oh. Put that thing in sport. Oh, shit. wow. <laughs> So my boy Cameron, who just popped into my car, is a pretty good gymnast. Well, he tried to do a cork on film and unfortunately he failed. He just popped his shoulder out, so I guess we're rolling to urgent care in all these supercars, but I'm thinking the supercharged Huracan may be able to save the day. I'm not a doctor, but maybe if we accelerate hard enough, it'll pop it back into place. I don't think we should try this. I mean, it's worth at least a shot. <laughs> all right, you guys. All right, <laughs> let me know how it goes. <laughs> Just right. Like, how much pain are you in? It's it's really only when I lift it, like, but it Okay, don't, don't lift it now. Damn, you look good in that thing, dude. I think you need to sell the M2. Oh, shit. <laughs> the only noise I hear from the McLaren right now is the fuel pump. So apparently urgent care centers are not about that popping the shoulder back into its socket life. So we actually have to go to the hospital right now. Lamborghini ambulance. All right, everyone get out of the way. This is actually, this makes sense for an ambulance. It's super fast. <laughs> All right, everyone out of the way. Ambulance vehicle versions is coming. That's okay, we can blow the stop sign. No, we can't. We can't do that. Don't worry, passenger, it's gonna be okay. Ah, it's loud. Dude, I'm an ambulance now. Officially. I feel like a lot of people do police wraps. Imagine wrapping your car to look like an ambulance. <laughs> That's probably a terrible idea, really illegal. Funny enough, I got extremely injured when I was snowboarding. I think I was about 12 years old, really injured. And while I was in the ambulance, the people there were so nice, I literally wanted to be a paramedic. That was like my future career goals. How are you feeling, dude, seriously? Uh, I mean, it's progressively hurting a little bit more, so. Literally when it happened, he's like, oh guys, I, I think my shoulder popped out. <laughs> to breakfast. Yeah, not only was he like, yo, you should turn your Lamborghini into an ambulance. He's also like, hey, can we eat first? I'd rather go to the ER later. We got a second ambulance, the Z06. This little kid up there in the van is showing James that he has a yellow Z06 too. <laughs> That's so cute. Nope, I would, don't think I want you repairing my computer or iPhone G's. Lamborghini ambulance has arrived. I think the real emergency though is the fact that there's a Prius out front, but <laughs> he wants a picture in front of the Lamborghini and the ER. Dude, I'm sorry. That's all right. what, what was the thought process behind doing the flip? Like what? I wanted a picture. Oh, you wanted a photo like, shoot. Go out here to this field and let, let's do it. <laughs> Talk about an unplanned vlog. Oh my God. But also on top of it, this dude has to do it six times and mess up six times and finally it just- Dude, yeah. that's dedication right there. Damn, so James's brake wear indicator just popped on. And because he has the Z07 package, that means his car is equipped with carbon ceramic brakes. Now, after the tragedy that happened with mine, he's gonna go park his car so that he doesn't chew through the rotors. Cause it turns out, uh, yeah, they're expensive. Swapped out the vet for the Joker. Ha, ah. ah, ready? Yeah. Okay, we have a problem here. Um, I'm just gonna hope this is 110 octane. Dude, no. A perfect E36 ruined by these vents. What have you done? All right, he's been forgiven. It doesn't have an M3 badge, but still. So I just discovered one fatal flaw with the manual transmission vehicle. Incredibly fun, more engaging driving experience. Cameron's car, the WRX, is a manual. The unfortunate part is, since he just dislocated or broke, we're not sure yet, he's gonna send some x-rays soon, he can't drive it anymore. It's his only car, and because one of his arms is completely useless right now, how is he gonna drive manual? Driving a manual with one arm sounds like a recipe for disaster. I'm curious, has any one of you dealt with that in the past? Have you broken an arm or a collarbone? And if so, how do you drive your manual transmission car around? Finally, me being an Uber is gonna come in handy. I can just give him rides. Just rolled up to Alex's house. Three very different cars from very different parts of the world. What's up, Crystal? You're in the vlog, oh. What, what are you doing? You wanna play? Let's go. Crystal, Crystal, come! I've just been taught about the Chaparral, a car in Gran Turismo that my friends have determined to be the absolute fastest car on the track. 
the old Chef, these are all like real cars though. The like old Chevrolets were like legendary like innovation cars. Dude, that downforce though. At first, belly on the ground, Whoa. and pretty much had a sense of flying just inches from the racetrack was to me the best and the most exciting position I could find for a race car. What? You lay head first? That's ridiculous. And seems like really unsafe. Laser propulsion system active. Oh, well, I guess that is what a laser powered car sounds like. Obviously this car doesn't exist, but 1.1 pounds per horsepower, it's got over 900 horsepower and weighs just 900 pounds powered by lasers. So this is a Chevy motor. It's designed with Chevy. So basically, I mean, next generation Camaro, you think? Laser power? I think that's amazing. Straight pipe, laser power, Damn. chaparral car, vehicle virgins gone sexual. What? <laughs> All right, this car is straight up ridiculous. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, yep. Yeah, man. Just a 180 mile an hour crash. Oh, 200 mile an hour crash. Safe. <laughs> All right, we are heading out to pick up Cameron's WRX. I guess I've got the keys to it, so I'm gonna be driving that. So I'm thinking, because I have the keys, so I'll do a quick little review. So this is a 2016 WRX. It's got a two liter turbocharged flat four, making 268 horsepower, zero to 60 in 5.5 seconds. And of course, it has a six speed manual. You can also get a CVT, but don't get a CVT. Unless of course you dislocate your shoulder at the field, then getting a CVT is probably more practical. Oh. This is actually my first time driving a WRX in about three and a half years. Look at that, we've got a boost gauge up on the screen. I'm sorry, but 180 on the dash, I feel like that's a little bit generous for a 268 horsepower car. I just realized this is an STI shifter. Sneaky Cameron. Wow, I'm not gonna lie, this thing's pretty fast. There is a good amount of turbo lag though. I mean a seriously good amount. Because it's a small little two liter, it revs super quickly though. I will say it actually might have the worst shift linkage feel of any car I've ever driven. Super rubbery, just kind of inaccurate feeling. There's a lot of slop. Also, the clutch pedal feels incredibly rubbery. The suspension is also super jarring. Not a huge fan. I will say though, the headroom and the legroom in the back seats is super impressive for a car of this size. And of course, it's quite practical because it's all wheel drive and it comes in a manual. So I can't hate it too much. Alrighty, back at the pad. Just left Alex's and drove like 40 minutes home only to realize the Subaru key is still in my pocket. I guess that's karma for me saying some negative things about it. So I still hate your transmission and clutch pedal, but I love you. Just please don't spite me anymore. So I was just going through some boxes and I found this. So this is actually the original license plate on my first ever supercar. Her name was Candace and she was a 2004 Lamborghini Gallardo. It was my dream car and honestly, one of the reasons why I'm here today and one of the reasons why I stuck with YouTube even though in the beginning, it was a long road. A lot of people think that, oh, you just became successful on YouTube overnight. But seriously, I've been doing this for over four years now at this point. If you look closely at this plate, you'll notice it is incredibly damaged. If you're an OG subscriber and know why the plate is damaged, thanks for sticking around so long. I don't know how you put up with me, but I love you. If you're new to the channel though, the reason why this is damaged is, <laughs> oh, it's so funny. You work so hard, you accomplish a goal, and then two months after I got this Lamborghini, I was stopped at a stoplight, and a girl was texting and driving in a Chevy Malibu, and plowed into the back of the car, causing $54,000 of damage. It's staggering the prices once you actually have to buy the parts individually, how much they charge for it. I did some calculations, and if you actually had to rebuild a Gallardo, or let's say a new Huracan, with the prices that they charge for each part. It was something like over a million dollars. Absolutely insane. I mean, for just the rear part of the car to cost 54 grand, for not including the engine, any of the side, the wheels, the front, nothing. The craziest part is, so the girl gets out of the car, she looks at it, realizes what she hit, she's just absolutely crying beside herself. We make sure that everybody's okay. I'm in shock, because, well, I just got rear-ended at 25 plus miles an hour, and my baby is now destroyed. We exchange 
birthdays, numbers, contact information, insurance, so on and so forth. A couple weeks later, the girl actually sends me a text asking me out on a date. I'm sorry, but driving obviously is something that's very important to me. So if somebody hits me texting and driving and rams into the back of my Gallardo, that is not exactly the first impression I'm looking for to go out on a date. Just wanted to remind you guys, Vehicle Virgin stickers are still for sale. Link in the description below for those. I love seeing these on people's cars when they drive by. If you have a Vehicle Virgin sticker already, post a picture of it on your car on Light Gravity using the app. I'd love to see some of your vehicles. Got some exciting stuff planned, some seriously exciting stuff planned as far as reviews are concerned and future collaborations coming soon. So if you're not already subscribed, smash that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you next time. Peace!